Welcome to the SharePoint 2013 case management application demo. This application is a follow-up to the SharePoint case management application demo we've previously showcased. In this case, we're expanding the functionality and showing how SharePoint 2013 can be a true application development platform. Let's take a look at some of the high-level goals that we hope to achieve with our application. First, we want to develop a flexible architecture to address some of the traditional challenges uh, of enterprise system built systems built on the SharePoint platform. In this case, SharePoint 2013 offers us a bunch of new options to help address those challenges. First, deployment of new features. Second, application performance through the UI, workflow, etc., as well as maintenance of existing functionality, which is traditionally a challenge on the SharePoint platform. In addition, we want to look at service enabling common functionality for reuse, reducing the role of user interface elements deployed on individual SharePoint sites, as well as leveraging fast search in SharePoint 2013, which is built in to enable normally challenging application functionality and make it available to our users. Our experience as custom software integrators on the SharePoint platform has provided us some insight into the challenges that uh, custom software vendors will face when using the SharePoint platform. As a result, we want to take this opportunity to address those challenges and show a, a realistic engineering solution that we've built here. First, we want to take into account custom database access, a well-defined security model, the ability to handle rapid or changing deployment cycles in an enterprise solution, complex and flexible workflow processes, and this means upgrade of those processes as well, as well as an evolving BI search and reporting capability. In addition, further evaluation of the SharePoint 2013 app model as it applies to inter enterprise systems is appropriate here. And we found that the app model really does provide a great way to address some additional challenges that we face. What we want to do is walk away with an enterprise class application that showcases many of the pieces of the SharePoint 2013 platform. We found that at a minimum, our users require us to provide a responsive, performant user interface that in many cases is hard to accomplish using SharePoint directly, at least previous versions of SharePoint. With that in mind, one of the usability goals of the SharePoint 2013 case management demo that we'll show is a responsive user interface that outperforms traditional SharePoint info path based user experiences. So this means HTML based input forms that are lightweight, asynchronous data access and functionality that provides timely feedback to our users, and a more modern approach to common user functions. The application should center around a main screen where much of the day-to-day -day work can be done, as well as bringing search to the forefront. So we don't want search to be invasive, but we always want search to be available to our users and, and all of our screens and provide contextual search, which will provide cues without shifting the user's focus. Additionally, although we are provisioning SharePoint sites in the background to provide some of the functionality, these sites aren't crowding a user's view until they are fully functional. In addition to the usability goals that we've previously stated, we also want to tackle um, some of the more challenging usability goals that we've found. Um, first off, uh, in our experience, is the workflow interaction should be more natural within the context of the app. So, so what this means in reality is submission directly from forms, aggregated tasking so that it fits well within the context of the system itself. Um, for example, there's no special submit workflow uh, page, no additional approval task out of the box pages in SharePoint, those will all be customized and very natural within the user's experience. Additionally, we wanna provide a platform for advanced BI and reporting capabilities. So to do that, we'll use SharePoint integrated SQL Server reporting services, ad hoc reporting, 
Excel services that comes with the enterprise version of SharePoint, as well as Power Pivot and Power View delivered through SharePoint. Finally, what we want to do is surpass, meet and surpass the functionality of the SharePoint 2010 case management application demo that we've previously shown, uh, and as that we alluded to at the beginning of this. At this point, let's take a look at the architecture of the app. As I previously alluded to, we'll be using the SharePoint 2013 app model. Uh, and within that, we'll be using the high trust flavor of, of the app model. And there's a lot of documentation on this, and I won't go into this too detailed, but basically what it means is that our app will be hosted on its own server or set of servers and use SharePoint um, as a, a way to authenticate, authorize, and provide supporting artifacts within the application. So SharePoint lists, a platform for workflow, etc. Let's look at the setup of the app itself. For starters, we have a root site collection with some initial and basic functionality deployed, but ultimately our cases will be represented by child webs within the site collection. So let me repeat that. Each case will be provisioned its own child web, which will serve as basically a document container for case documentation. In addition to that, we have a provisioning process that we've deployed to the root site and in our case is implemented through a site scope WF4 workflow. This workflow will call our custom implemented service layer which will be responsible for doing the provisioning of these case sites and, and additionally assigning specific functionality to our case sites. On top of this architecture we've deployed our custom UI through our high trust SharePoint 2013 app. In part two, we'll demo specific pieces of the app and hopefully touch on some of the more interesting aspects of the application itself.